today is a Sunday. I love Sundays because they are the perfect time for a reset. So that is what today's vlog is going to be. I'm going to bring you along for the day and just try to regroup for the upcoming week. It has been a really crazy busy few weeks on board because my parents were here and then I've been in install with Cast 31 since I've extended and also working full time with Cast 30. So it's just been a really busy few weeks. A lot has been going on and I just feel like I really need a good reset day so I'm going to regroup for the upcoming week ahead I am getting a roommate today so Chinatsu is going to be my roommate for the rest of this contract she's here until April but I am only here until December so I do need to clean the cabin and reorganize a bit to make some space for her because I have so much stuff so that's the plan for today and then we'll see what else we get into so it's time for lunch and the mess hopefully is gonna have something good. I'm hoping, but we'll see. I'm wearing my Halloween socks today because it's almost Halloween! One more good to fill the press. One more good to fill the press. Here's my lunch. Some couscous, some veggies, carrots, cucumber, peppers, and cantaloupe. Lunch was honestly not that bad. I feel like turnaround day is the best day in the mess. I'm back in the cabin and I really want to get this place ready for Chinatsu. She has a friend coming on board this cruise, so I think she's going to be busy with her. But I want to have this all ready to go because she probably won't move her stuff in until later this evening. I feel like now is a perfect time to do it. So I want to try and reorganize the shelves a little bit because I have just taken over completely. <laughs> and then maybe rearrange the photos because the whole entire wall is pictures of me. And now it's going to be her room as well. So I'm going to try and see what I can do there. I really need to clean the bathroom as well. I just want it to be nice and fresh for her. I need to drink more water and hydrate today, but I really want to have a coffee. So I might make a coffee to help with the productivity. It always makes me more motivated if I have like a nice little treat. So I feel like a coffee will do that for me. And then I'm going to play the Beyonce album, the new one, Renaissance, I think it's called, because it is so good. It is so good. I'm really late to it. I know it came out a few months ago, but I just discovered it like maybe three weeks ago. And I have just been playing it on repeat. And I love how the songs kind of like mesh into the next song. I'm rambling. Let's just, let's get going. <laughs> to the right side of the shelves so now she has these two shelves for her things and then this is also for her my stuff is in here it's a mess we're not gonna look at that that's a problem for later I'm not really sure how to tackle this wall because I don't want to get rid of any pictures I feel like I'll be leaving people out if I take them off the wall what to do Actually, maybe I'll take some of the pictures from here, put them under my bed, rearrange there, and open up some of the wall space for Chinatsu. We're gonna try that. I feel like that's, that looks better. But now I'm wondering, should I put this over there. Hmm. We're gonna leave it for now. That is not a parallel line or straight. It's kind of curved and it's driving me a little insane. So I'm gonna try and fix that later. But anyways, pictures are there. 
pictures are here. Now Chinatsu has some space for her things on the wall. There's just so much stuff underneath the chair. We're not talking about it, but I tried to make some space for her if she has like a little basket or something. That's that. I want to tackle the bathroom now. It's not really dirty. I just want it to be fresh. So I'm gonna give it a little quick freshen up and I need to take out the garbage. I do also have these glasses I wanna clean. Put them here. And I have to clean my cold brew maker so that it's ready to go to make a new batch. Gonna clean this and prep the coffee. is good to go. I literally scrubbed everything, the floors, the toilet, the sink, the medicine cabinets, like everything is good to go. There's nothing better than a fresh bathroom. I wiped down the table so that's all good to go. I cleaned the counters so those are nice and fresh and everything is pretty much set. I do need to take all of this stuff to the incinerator though because we don't want that laying there. So I'll probably head there now. It's always such a struggle to bring garbage to the incinerator because it's all the way at the back of the ship. And turnaround day is probably the worst day to do it because I-95 is closed, but it really needs to get done. So I'm gonna bring it there now. always such a nice feeling to take the garbage out of the cabin. I want to prepare my cold brew or preset if you will uh, because I just cleaned it. So I'm going to show you the process of how I prepare my cold brew. It's super simple and I highly recommend for anyone who lives on a ship because it's just so easy and there's nothing better than coffee in the morning when you wake up and also the coffee in the mess is just not it. It doesn't taste good. It's not strong. It's very watery, just totally not, not what I want. So this is my alternative. I want to say this makes like two liters of cold brew, which is amazing. I had this exact same one on adventure, but I had a black lid. So this one's a little different. I will have it linked below. So this is the filter that just goes inside before I put it in the little container. I want to fill it with the coffee grounds. I have gone through so much coffee this contract. Thank you to anyone who has brought me coffee grounds you have been hooking it up for the last like eight months. So the coffee I'm just using now is my Illy coffee. I got this in Cyprus, literally at the beginning of the contract. So I'm just going to fill this with the grounds. Try not to make a mess. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need a spoon. Now I just slide this in the middle and twist it tight. Basically just fill this container with water. So I'm gonna go to the water fountain and get some nice filtered water. The cold brew is all ready to go. Just gonna slide it into the fridge and it'll be ready tomorrow.
So I think I'm going to whiten my teeth. A big thank you to Lumino for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I have been using their non-toxic whitening strips for a few days now and I've already noticed a huge difference. They offer a few different products that are all non-toxic and help whiten your teeth. So they sent me the whitening strips along with this nice little toothbrush, bamboo toothbrush. I also have the whitening toothpaste and then also the whitening mouthwash so I've been using these all together. It's very important to pay attention to what ingredients we are putting into our bodies and with the products we're using we want to make sure that they are very clean so I really like that Lumino's ingredients include essential oils, aloe vera, and coconut oil so it is all really good for you. I also personally have really sensitive teeth, so sometimes depending on what mouthwash I use or toothpaste, my teeth can sting or burn. This has been so gentle on my gums and my teeth. So the whitening strips come in a pack of seven, so you are recommended to use them seven days in a row. Usually I brush my teeth first with the toothpaste, then I use the whitening strips, and lastly I finish off with the mouthwash. There's two little strips, one for your top and one for your bottom. And you're also recommended to not eat or drink anything for 30 minutes after you've whitened your teeth for the best results. I'm gonna shut the timer for 30 minutes. Finished the process, the timer went off, and I literally see a difference immediately, instantly, my teeth are whiter. I'm honestly just very impressed with how well it worked. Like, I feel sometimes whitening strips, you buy them and they don't really make a difference, but I've actually seen a visible difference with the Lumino products so very pleased with the outcome if you want to try it for yourself you can check out the link in my description box and you can receive $10 off of your order of Lumino such a productive day thus far I'm thrilled I actually just got back from medical I had an appointment there because I was actually off duty the last few days I mentioned in a few other videos that my hip had been giving me some problems and I just pushed it way too far I got to the point where like I could not even walk so I was out of the show this last cruise which was definitely disappointing but I needed it like my hip definitely needed the rest. So I had a tendinopathy in my TFL. I actually went to a PT in Halifax. Now I'm pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> but I, I saw someone in Halifax and she was so, so, so helpful. I cannot recommend her enough if you're in that area. I'll have her information listed below because I was blown away at how much help she gave me in just one visit. And I got some rehab exercises that I've been doing the last few days and I haven't been skating. So I just had another checkup appointment at medical and I am fit for duty now. So I will be back to work, which I'm so, so excited to say. I have been going crazy and I've been really sad to not be able to go on the ice. So I am cleared and I'm going to try and skate this evening just to slowly ease back into it. I don't want to go too crazy just because I don't want it to flare up again. I'm going to continue with my rehab exercises just to strengthen the muscles just because there was a little bit of an imbalance. I'm just going to try and even it all out. And I do want to work Wi-Fi so I'm going to quickly change. It's been a while since I've worked Wi-Fi. I've had so many minutes and just been too busy to, to work it. So I'm going to do an hour. I'm going to put this little shirt on. There we are, good to go, and I'm going to go work on the promenade for like an hour. I think I'm going to wear a mask though, because we don't have to wear masks anymore, but I do not want to get sick. Fit check! <laughs> this shirt is just hideous, absolutely hideous.
comfies now with my good old Stockholm t-shirt, the $5 sale, crew sale. We love it. And oh, that was my hip. But I was trying to show you my little sweatpants joggers. So I think tonight is a Harry Potter night. We're going to watch Harry Potter 6. I know it's not Harry Potter 6. I don't know what the title of it's called, but it's the sixth movie. Um, I liked five, but I don't think it was as good as four. So far, I think my favorite Harry Potter movie is The Goblet of Fire. So we will see what happens tonight. The time has come. It is bedtime. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love a good Sunday reset. I love watching them and filming it has been really fun to show you me kind of getting back into a routine for the week ahead and I feel so much more organized now with myself. It is really crazy that I only have about five or six more turnarounds until I sign off of this contract. I feel like I've been here forever honestly but time has also flown by so it's just really crazy to think about how soon sign off actually is but I'm just enjoying my last few weeks here. So I hope you guys are excited to come along for a few adventures in the Caribbean before heading home and then there's gonna be tons of content when I am home for the holidays. Let me know what your favorite thing to do on a Sunday is in the comments below if you're still watching this. And lastly, thank you so much for 55,000 subscribers. We hit that milestone today and I honestly can't believe that we have just reached another really massive milestone and it's all thanks to you guys so thank you for all the support on my channel you don't know how much it means to me like I have to pinch myself because I never thought I would get into the position I am now so just a big thank you to you and a hug to all of you I hope you have a wonderful day whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>